it was harsh. You know, President Trump and LeBron James' backgrounds couldn't be more different. The president grew up wealthy, inherited millions of dollars. LeBron James grew up poor and fatherless. And just this week, opened a school and will now be paying for hundreds of kids to get an education, which is what makes the president's insults tonight so shocking. Tonight, the Twitter president making news again with a tweet, taking to social media to publicly insult the intelligence of the Lakers' newest star. LeBron James, President Trump writing, was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike, referring to Michael Jordan. This is likely the answer that led the notoriously thin-skinned president to fire back. What would you say to the president if he's sitting right here? Uh, I would never sit across from him. He would never. He didn't want to talk to him? No. I said that across from Barack, though. The irony of the president calling LeBron James dumb the same week he opened a new tuition-free school in Ohio that will send hundreds of kids to college for free was not lost on the Twitterverse. Former ESPN writer Bill Simmons writing LeBron is a smart dude and one of the most thoughtful athletes we have. This is a BS tweet and feels more than a little racist. You are a constant embarrassment. Another ESPN writer, Chris Herring, writing, So Trump finally went at LeBron, huh? Shocked it took this long. Not shocked, it happened during a week where LeBron literally opened a school for at-risk kids. And author, Carlos Whitaker, writing, You seriously just made me nauseous. LeBron has had one wife, zero scandals, and just opened a school he built for inner-city kids. I'll take dumb over whatever this tweet defines you as any day. Laker fans we spoke with tonight seem to feel the same way. Just recently he made a school. Yeah. Uh, number one, we should burn down all the schools and books because they're all full of fucking lies. So LeBron is technically not helping those kids. Number two, wasn't that LeBron James and Jigaboo Jay-Z and Beyonce out there shooking and jiving for Crooked Hill Dog two years ago in Philadelphia? How'd that fucking work out for you? <clears throat> LeBron James is an overhyped, stupid uh, fucking basketball player. They only won one championship in Cleveland and then ditched him again. Yeah, showing, showing love to Akron, Cleveland by ditching him twice to go somewhere else. One championship and he's supposed to be the fucking goat. Fuck out of here. President Trump knows who the goat is. That's Michael Jordan. You ain't fucking Michael Jordan. LeBron James. Can I make a bold liquor video? Uh, Don Lemon and Anderson Cooper both taking up the old tailpipe. CNN sucks. Uh, that down the hatches, it's a fucking hurricane. Uh, the people have already spoken we ain't siding with Crooked Hill Dog, the fucking pedophiles in Hollywood, and the middle man, man, allegedly, and our sports athletes, shut up and fucking play ball, and respect old glory, and respect our great president, our 45th president, Donald J. Trump, the troll of trolls. We voted a troll to clean this flat earth up. And he's doing the best fucking job and having a great time doing it. D nukes in North Korea. And 
bringing peace to the flat earth, making new allies were our Russian comrade, President Putin. You would see Barack Obama do that shit. Look around the block as a hollow point plus with the walks back. Yeah, fuck you, Wolfer Winfrey. You can't even take control of your fucking weight. And you want to be president? Fuck out of here. You fat black asshole. Only bolt liquor. <laughs> Look at the economy, how great it is. Keep America great, Trump 2020. Let's troll for another six more years. Schools ain't teaching kids nothing nowadays. Well, for the last 70, 70 some odd years ago, ever since they started NASA, fucking liars, faking the moon landing. Teach the kids about the flat earth. How they sign their names on the paychecks that they receive. That's all they need to fucking know. I ever read a book from... I ever read a book from page one to the end since probably the uh, old man in the sea back in elementary school. And I probably didn't even fucking read it. Anyway, flat earth boot liquor. <laughs> Deport all home brewers. Uh. Detonate all schools without the children in them. <clears throat> Throw all the books into the ocean or fucking burn them. Brick bolt liquor 
only malt liquor. And everything will be great. Keep America great. Trump 22. 2020. Get to uh, shit in your own hand and then chuck it at four Mustangs or smug craft beer cunts drinking craft beer. Just throw shit at them. Legitimate shit. Oh, yeah, fuck Canada. Place the fucking shithole. So is Florida. Can't wait till that gets fucking walked right off the flat earth. Can't get 40 ounces of malt liquor in your shithole state. Only malt liquor, 40 ounce containers. Will. Fuck the media. Fuck the sports athletes. Shut up and fucking play ball. Respect old glory, you ungrateful fucking bastards. And motherfuck the pedophiles in Hollywood. some fag on CNN listen to somebody that's wearing two Ameri Make America Great Again bull caps over a ski mask in a suit with a red tie on surrounded by American flags drinking bull liquor the way the good lord wanted it working bull liquor is absolutely fresh and fucking delicious left none of your fucking foam dwarf Fuck you, fat Reggie. We'll never forget. 
when you purchase those old vintage malt liquor labels off of eBay. Slap them on new 40s just to make friends on the net. Fuck you, Reginald. Follow me on Twitter, Trincy1. Subscribe. <clears throat>